Hey guys, welcome back to the Banner Saga. So last time we started Chapter 2, we were introduced to a new bunch of characters, and by making a very poor decision on the spur of the moment, I got one of them killed. Hmm. Also, um, this guy Ivor was injured in battle, so we need to rest him at uh, an encampment so we can heal. But first we're going to go to the market, see if there's anything we can buy. Uh, one renown gets. Hmm. Right, these things are for sale. And. Oh, do we have to spend renown to get them? Plus one armor on rest. Three will per kill, that's good. But, can't afford it. Um, yeah, right, what's this do? Oh, we can spend Renown to get supplies. No, we should be fine. Let's continue the story. You find anyone? A few. Sent them inside. Gods, this is bad. About Gil. It was my fault. He was a good fighter for his age. No family. I thought... I've forgotten what it's like facing Dredge. I'm out of practice, Rook. Look. As long as I've known you, you've always worried... Come on, brain. You've always wormed your way out of talking about Dredge. This will be the time to start talking. I can tell you they rarely stop for rest. The sooner we leave, the better. They'll follow us until we're tripping over tired women and children. Then they'll attack. Even after we've wiped... Even after we're wiped out, they'll keep coming, trampling corpses in their wake. There's no end to them. How did anyone survive the Great Wars? Ask the Menders. I wasn't there. But I know you fought your fair share. Yeah, I've killed enough slag for one lifetime. That's why you're going to save us now. Don't lay that on me. Come on, let's get inside. Great Hall. Rook, thank the gods you made it. The Great Hall is an utter din, filled as it is with dozens of terrified families. Don't stop worrying yet. I haven't. What in the depths is going on? Dredge milling around, ransacking houses? The chieftain's wife finds you, pushing through the crowd. They must know we're here. Why haven't they attacked? Don't know. I wouldn't expect it to last. I've made some decisions, but tell me straight. What would you both do in my place? I'd have left by now. They're already outside the doors. Not so easily done. Rook? Um... Right, no. I'm, I'm not going to make this mistake again. I'm trusting Ivor. We need to get out of here. The chief inside a deep and heavy breath, slumping. He looks years older. I imagined us fighting back and saving the town, but nonsense. Ivor's right, of course. We can't just wait to be slaughtered. Where do we go? If Dredge are coming down from the north... Frostveller. <laughs> oh dear. Frostveller. <laughs> Thank you very much. To the west. It's close, and it has walls. I intend to be free of Skogger in one push. Nobody left behind. I wouldn't. If they follow us, we're done. What do you suggest? Let me create a distraction, then go. I'll catch up on the road to Frostfeller. Hmm. Um. Um, 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 oh man, these decisions are hard to make. Like, that's good though, I guess. Right. I'm going to be brave and help with the distraction. The chieftain thinks for a long moment. I didn't ask for advice just to ignore it. Promise you're not throwing away your lives on this. That wasn't part of my plan. Either? Nope. Then I'm coming with you. Good, we need another warrior. We lost Eagle, we need Oddleaf. 
that catches you by surprise. The chieftain rubs his chin but doesn't argue. From the training she's given, Alette, you've no doubt she can handle a bow. Oh right, she trained Alette. Okay, cool. She looks awesome, by the way. Look at that design. Brilliant. Cool sort of white Aryan. Love the big plait and the small plait. White robe and the blue toga. Amazing. Love it. Fine. I'll get the townspeople ready. Make your move, Ivor. We'll leave when you're clear. Alette finds you before you have a chance to find her. I know what you're doing. You'll have to let me come with you. Don't leave me. Please, I'll be good. Okay, Alette, just promise to listen. I promise, she says. Ivor soon finds you both. Let's go. Remember, we're not trying to fight them all, we're just getting their attention. Fine with me. You step into the town courtyard where you can already see Dredge in every direction. Ivor starts banging his shield and swearing at them. We kill a few, he shouts, and the rest will follow. You steal yourself for a tough fight. Oh my god. Ah, they're too injured. Well, this is bad. Now, I do re recall that... Um, if we turn the difficulty down, they don't have to rest in between battles. So what we could do is try it, and then if if that's the case, we can turn it down so that we have all of the people available to us. To be honest, the thing that I'm enjoying most about this game so far is the story by a country mile. Um, I'm absolutely loving the story. I just That's the thing I want to focus on getting through in this series. So, I mean, I like hard games. Don't get me wrong. I love a challenge. don't like playing anything on easy. But if I have to, I will. Let's try it out and see what happens. Um, so, yeah, we'll keep these guys in the front. That seems like a good order. We'll put Oddleaf before Alette. And, okay. We possibly should have given Oddleaf the bracelet because Alette is injured. Yeah, okay, no, right, that's fine. They just... Well, Ivor seems to be starting with lower HP, but Alette doesn't. That's cool. And, my god, six dredge. So, hmm, what are we going to do? I'm going to take a risk and put Ivor before these dredge, so that he doesn't have to tank two, possibly three at once. Then we'll put Rook backing up Ivor. And then we'll try with these two ladies to hold the middle ground um, and see if we can snipe these guys before they get in too close. So I guess all we have to do is kill a few of them. Now with that in mind, it might be better to just focus all on the same two guys. Let's try that, in fact, now that I think about it. Um, try that. And that way... Let's keep her behind Rook. Hmm. Man, I'm nervous. Oh yeah, what does she have? Um... Puncture. Bonus damage to targets who have lost armor if the archer has not moved. We know that one. Rain of arrows 1. Trap one tile with one arrow, causing strength damage if walked over before next turn. Hmm. I don't see... That's good, but I don't see how I'm going to be able to use it. Well, let's move in. Use one willpower to close the gap. And... Straight up attack this guy. Break his guard. Okay, it's good that it was him first. Right, Rook, can you get in range? Um, yes, you can. If you move to, say, here. Um, oh, we can do five, six damage. That's pretty good already. That's half 
more than half of his HP down, which means that's going to weaken his attacks against... Yeah, okay. Just chip damage, really. What's her range? If she moves one forward and two in this direction, so if she moves to here, she should be able to get this guy. She can. And she can finish him off for one willpower. Right. She's a Sky Striker. I know that because I just got the achievement. <laughs> um, Alette. Alette, Alette, Alette. Let's move her to here. She should be in range, but she's also incredibly vulnerable. These guys are all bunching up. Um... Oh, can she get within range of using that thing that she has that goes in a line? Thread the needle. She can. That's good. Nice. Now, she has been left very open here. Ow. Yeah, that's not great. We're going to have to... Um... Well... We could try and focus on getting this guy finished off, because he's... But that's going to put either in range of these guys. I don't like the look of them at all. Is there any difference between the ones with white on them? No, they're both just dredge grunts. Okay. Right, decisions, decisions. I guess we're going to have to sandwich him in between these two. Um, what can we do in the way of hurting him? We can do three damage. Or three guard damage. I'm going to take a risk and do that. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Oh, we dodged it. Fantastic. Um, he can probably... Oh, if he marks the prey, he has to be next to it, but then they should both attack it, which would be very good. Oh no, she has to go back to be in range, but still... Oh, I love that move. Look at that. I don't love that move. Right, can she finish him? She can. Goodbye. Oh man, I need to get him out of there. Do I have to kill all of these guys in order to complete this mission? I feel like I do. We have some willpower available on the fucking horn. But... I don't really know how best to use it. She could go back and rest. I figure that her talents are probably best used elsewhere. For example, if she backs up to here... Oh, she could have done that shot in a line thing. Damn it! Oh, I need to... Right. I need to start thinking this through a lot better than I am doing. Never mind. Chip away. That's all right. Right, we're going to have to get him out of here. But we can't, because he's too big. Oh, he's hemmed in by these guys. Right, it, w it wasn't joking when it said... Um, the fact that these guys take up four squares is, you know, like... Has to be used strategically. I feel like we're going to lose either again. Oh no, he deflected. He's a lucky boy. Let's mark. We need to. We really need to. <laughs> Eat it. Um, can she finish him? No, wait. Within this range is probably a better idea. She can. Excellent. Another one down. 
he's getting rather macked here. We can't get anyone in range of the thread the needle move. So what are we gonna do? We'll get him we'll get her out of the way of his movement squares so that he can retreat if he survives that long. Now we can simply we're just gonna have to chip away. Uh, six and ten. This guy has willpower, so he's definitely more of a threat. That was good. No, 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 no. Oh, use willpower. Right, get back. Can't rest, but hmm, I don't think that's probably just going to have wasted a move. They're just going to close in. Yeah, this is bad. This is very bad. Ah, oh, I could have done the mark for prey thing. Right, in that case... We're going to have to retreat. That was pretty good. No! Um... Who is it? Oh, it's her. Right, she's... Pretty good from what I've seen. Yep. No, he's dead. No, he's not. He's still alive somehow, miraculously. Who is it? Alette. Ah, she can thread the needle. Yes. Thread the needle, baby. <laughs> That was satisfying. That was not satisfying. <laughs> no, no, no. Three. Right, can you finish it? Oh, you can't. You bastard. No, she's gonna die. No. Um. Right, close the gap. Make the kill. Seven. What? How? What, how is he doing compared to the other ones? They have a higher guard, don't? Oh no, it's only this guy. Okay, right. It's gonna have to be finish him. There. Then the next guy's gonna finish Ivor. Clearly. No, because he deflected it again. He's good. I like him. Um, three guard, nine HP. Four guard, nine HP. Yeah, right, so... We need to move her in order to get her in range. Move her to here. Attack here for five. Good, very good. Right, he's definitely... Yeah, okay, he's dead. Two left. Both doing nice damage, though. Can we finish this guy... before he gets another move. No, I was out of range. Oh my good. Seven, though, that's good. We should be able to do this. Provided they can survive the next couple of rounds, which, yes, they will be able to. Because they are weakened, and so their attack power is weakened. I really love that feature. That's, like, really nice. It's, the strategy of it is great. Um, okay. Oh, she can't attack adjacently, but she can finish this guy. I really like Oddleaf. She's cool. How dare you attack Oddleaf. Get gone. Right, we did it. Okay, um, that wasn't too bad, but obviously I made some really bad decisions, which I feel like, you know, it would have been more, much more of a challenge to keep everyone alive, given my appalling lack of skill. Um, but, nevertheless, we did it. You have no problem getting the dredge to follow. Things begin to look dicey, but you're eventually able to lose them in thick woods where they have difficulty keeping up. You climb to an overlook and wait for the caravan to appear. An hour later, Oddleaf is the first to spot them. 
There, she points to the road. As you rejoin them, you can see there was trouble, some people wounded, others missing. Mm, prickly. A group has gathered at the rear of the caravan. Oddleaf walks beside a covered figure in the open wagon. Old fool, she says through clenched teeth. I should have stayed with him. The chieftain's death hits you like a blow to the gut. You continue on to Frostvella in silence. Alette's hand firmly in your own. Oh, we lost the chieftain as well. I tell you one thing I really love about the story of this game so far is the, the absolute brutality of it. You don't know who's going to survive into the next, like, scene of the game. And what really hit me was losing Eagle just by, through making a really poor decision. That guy could be alive and with us right now if I'd have done things differently to how I did. And I was just saying how much I like this character and now she's lost her husband. Um, it's it's really arresting. There's something about it which is like... It it's, has this real, like, gritty darkness to it, but it, the beautiful, like, elegant style of the game kind of tempers that, and um, I like it. Plus 20 renown, nice. Okay, we're on day 7, moving away from Skogger, and we are going... Okay, pausing to catch your breath, you glance backward to see the caravan stretched out past the point of safety. They're spaced out so far, you're unable to see those bringing up the rear. That's not good. We've got to pull them together, says Ivor. It'd be dangerous to stop until at least the Godstone. The path should be just ahead. Call an early stop. Slow the pace so everyone can catch up. Keep a steady pace. Rally the caravan with a speech. Um... Well, we need to go with Ivor's advice, because his advice so far has been pretty reliable. So he says, we can't stop. Um, but if it's just ahead, let's slow down so people can catch up, but keep moving. Give the others a chance to find us, you tell those around you at the front. You beckon the stragglers to pick up their feet, eventually bringing the caravan back together. However, many curse the slower pace and the lost time. Right. Day 8. I guess this is the Godstone? Looks cool. Far enough for today, I think. After a day of misery, men and women drop their meagre possessions beneath the godstone of Hirid Valdir. What are we doing? We just left our homes because suddenly there were dredge. Chieftain did what I suggested, and look what he got for it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on yourself, man. Look at these people. Somebody has to hold them together. That's you, Rook. Um... But you're the dredge killer around here. Yeah, a Val. They want to listen to someone who looks like them. What about Oddleaf? Let her, if that's easier for you. So, looks like Rook doesn't feel like he can be a strong leader for these people. Oddleaf is a very strong woman, but... I don't know how I would make that decision. Uh, what if we run into more dredge? What am I supposed to do, anyway? Lie? Tell them everything's going to be alright? God's Rook, I don't know. Pretend you know what you're doing. That's what the rest of us do. Thanks for the advice. Then do whatever you want. Let them fend for themselves if you can live with it. You humans are absurd, Rook. Furious when you're not in control. Terrified when you are. <laughs> yeah, you speak the truth, man. You really do. Maybe we need some Val in real life to... Uh, Sharpen up a lot of people in, on our planet. Never mind. Pull it together. Um, you're right. Think of how I feel. I'm stuck nursing a bunch of weaklings. You do care, I can tell. The men are a plague on the world worse than any dredge, as far as I can tell. 
Chats like this are why we get along so well, Ivor. You sleep poorly, the sun forever stuck to an eternally bright sky. Before the others rise, you find yourself staring over long, low hills covered in pine. The godstone looms overhead, the massive eyes of Hirid Valdir looking the same direction as you. Inspect the stone. The weathered stone... The weathered stone doesn't see many visitors. Not much reason to travel so far east. When hunters come through, they sometimes stop to give offerings out of habit more than anything else, now that the gods are dead. Hirid Valdir was the god of hunters and wild beasts, occasionally seen roaming the land as both man and wolf. He was always depicted in effigy with his terrible spear. You wonder what he'd think about his woods being full of dredge now. A young girl from the caravan approaches you. I made this for you, she says, handing you a crude necklace carved from a branch she must have found nearby. Thank you for saving my mama, she says, before running back to her tent. You're welcome, little girl. Back at your tent, you rouse Alette, who clings to your arm until she's completely awake. Bad dreams. Eventually the camp is broken down and it's time to move on to Frostveller. It feels like an end more than a start. We got the Bjarken rune. Is that what the young girl made for us? Probably. Okay. So we're moving on. Into day nine. And... Here we go. The caravan halts when a group of men appear on the trail, weapons at their feet. We've seen the dredge in your wake, says one. We don't wish to meet them alone. If you'll let us join you, we'll show you a watering hole with enough animals to fill those supply wagons. An inherent fear of strangers raises mutters from the caravan. Hmm. What are you doing out here alone? We were hunting here for food when the dredge found our village, says the man. When we returned, he looks away, unable to finish. Uh, I'll be kind. If you'll be no trouble, come along, you say. The men cautiously join your ranks and prove trustworthy. Hehe, <laughs> nice. The hidden watering hole nearby is teeming with animals and soon your supplies are nicely restocked. Wow, so I actually made a decision which paid off for once. Plus 12 fighters, plus 5 renown, plus 18 supplies. Lovely. Morale has become poor, what's the problem? During a rest, one of the men... One of the men get too drunk and end up splashing mead in a warrior's face. What a dick. A brawl erupts. Many thrown fists and a broken bone later, the instigator, Raffensvata, is tossed on the ground at your feet, angry clansmen looking for a satisfaction. His personal defence is little more than drooling mumbles. Hmm. Um. Coerce a public apology from him. Grabbing Raffensvata's neck, you force him to look at the crowd. Apologise for this mess, you demand. The man babbles until you squeeze harder. Sorry, he yells repeatedly, even after you let him go. Folks shake their heads, but leave the man alone. Hey, he's got a lot of things to blot out. Let him get drunk. That's what I say. Getting drunk can really, really help in situations of dire turmoil. It can be very bad too, don't get me wrong, but you know. The caravan is visibly relieved to find a small village on the way to Frostveller with beds and fresh supplies. The locals here are shocked by the news you bring and discuss it amongst themselves while you set up nearby. So we've got a camp. Superb. Wow, this is a pretty big village. That's a huge... Oh, that's my encampment, I guess. Map, market, heroes, rest. Yes, we need to rest. Let's see. I rested for two days. Now they're all sweet. Sweet as a peach. I've got tons of renown. Can I promote anyone? I can promote Oddleaf. 
I love that character design, man. That's my favourite one so far, without a doubt. That looks amazing. If I was a lady, I would probably have that as my avatar. Uh, yep. Continue. Um, okay. Alright, so we've got a couple of other things we can do here before we move on. But I am going to do that at the start of the next episode. And I am going to end this one right here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, the best way to show your appreci appreciation is to press like, as that lets me know you're enjoying the series. And I will see you in the next episode of the Banner Saga. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.